Hello. Oh, hey, Jake. What's going on, man? And YH and Mad Gamer. Thank you for joining me tonight. This is not going to be... We can watch the stream while we get back. <laughs> Wait, I thought you guys packed last week. You mean to tell me you procrastinated all this time? Oh, well. Anywho. It's another Friday evening. Um, unexpected stream tonight because I wasn't actually supposed to be home. Um, I had, uh... Oh, hey, Rob, what's going on, man? <laughs> I'm on time for once. Awesome. This is perfect. But, um... Yeah, so I was supposed to have tabletop tonight, but that got canceled, so that's why I'm here. And I realize my mic levels are going into the yellow, and I apologize for those of you viewers who have headphones on right now. My bad. But anyway, this is the Mighty Pinto. This is another Friday night, and we're doing Spooky Retro Night because, yeah, uh, I didn't feel like... Oish. Sorry to hear that, Jake. But um, anyway, I... I'm on Discord and Necro's in the streaming channel with me, but I think he might be having mic issues, but I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, enough dilly-dallying and dawdling. We're just going to get started. So welcome to Spooky Retro Night. Um, I'm going to be going through a ton of games, probably for a couple hours. Not sure what I'm going to play. Um, I have a few things planned, but I'm mostly going to be flying by the seat of my pants. So if you guys have any requests... Let me know as far as retro games go, but I'm going to start off with one I wanted to play. If I can get this up, give me a second. Xbox Gaming Overlay. No. No thank you. Okay, so I can just... Whoop. There we go. Screen solid black. Alright, so the first game on my list tonight was the one I put for the thing, and that's Frankenstein the Monster Returns, so we're starting with that. Oh, um, I should have mentioned epilepsy warning. But anyway, welcome... Oh my god, this is Grammy award-winning stuff right here. Listen to that opening theme. Alright, we're gonna start. Input your name. Um, how many characters can I get? Frankenstein! Frankenstein! Okay, so I think... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I can have 6 characters. So what should my name be? What should I call myself? You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna call myself... Dorp. There we go. That's a, that's a good name. We'll go with that. So, Dorp, our mighty hero. Any, oh, it's Dorp. Whoa! Frog. The sleeping... Villagers... Think they are. Oh my god, this is going too slow. Can I speed this up? Oh, okay, good. Thank you. But all too soon, Frankenstein has riven, risen from the grave. The villagers awake in horror. As Frankenstein apparently burns their fucking village to the ground. Holy shit! Wee! Help me! And Frankenstein is now surfing on fire. This is amazing. Frankenstein. I will take... Okay, this is going a little too fast. Frankenstein is taking our beloved Emily. Okay, apparently I have to go to stage one. Yes, this is, Rob. This is the NES. Okay, so apparently all I can do is punch. And I'm fighting feral cats, apparently. This is weird. And trolls, I guess? What the hell's going on here? 
Anyway, oh, sweet, I stole his club. Cool. I know AVGN reviewed it a long time ago. Yeah, <laughs> them frames. Uh-oh, we got a boss fight. Uh... Wow, this is the best they could come up with, huh? Okay. Anyway, I got a potion. A <laughs> yeah, exactly, it is. It's a giant drumstick. Acquired energy. <laughs> the mega leg. <laughs> it's <laughs> yes. And Leviathan and Asmodeus and Mega Leg rose up from the briny deep and laid waste the cities of man. Okay, I got trolls to the left of me and oozes to the right. Oh, we're in the wait. How the fuck are we in the sewers? Okay. And why does a 17th century village have such amazing plumbing? Whatever. Apparently they have a bad rat infestation. There are rats as big as dogs down here. <laughs> because nests, exactly. Wait, what? Water dra- Water dragon. Ha. 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 I. Don't. Know where you are from, boy, but if you want the treasure chest. You must defeat me. Alright, fine. Bring it. Oh, you're not getting me that easy. Oh, this isn't good. Fine, I'll just have to punch it to death. So what did I get? You have acquired more life. Okay, cool. Oh, I get it. That's kind of like a get out of death free card. Hey, it works for me. Ow, son of a bitch. I lost the leg. It's okay, I'm gonna get another one when I get outside. See, there he is. Give me that leg. Turkey leg acquired. Oh wait, there might be something in here. There's an old man, okay. So what does he have to say? Young lad, listen to my desperate plea. What is it? Frankenstein has destroyed our village and taken my beautiful Emily. Please find him and bring her back. Here, take this potion. What, what, me? You are our only hope. Good luck. All right, what do we got here? I've acquired more life. Great, another get out of death free card. Hey, I'll take it. What am I fighting? I'm fighting the Grim Reaper, apparently. Usually you don't fight death this early in a spooky game. Oh, and apparently he's dead. Well, what the fuck is that thing? Well, whatever it is, it's dead. Okay, cool. Well, now what? What the hell? Demon horse. What's this? I have been waiting for an opponent all these.
these years only to face a mere mortal. I am the great demon horse. You better run away while you still can. Alright, fine. Bring it! Oh, shit. Aha! At least I'm gonna recover my turkey leg. Oh, shit! I am not doing well. Oh, there we go. I got him. Yes, Gadget. Sorry, I couldn't think of a better voice to give him than, like, the Dr. Claw voice. Down here, you son of a bitch! Oh my god! Come on! Float the fuck down here so I can hit you. There we go. I do not remember this guy being this hard. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. There we go, he's dead. Curses beaten by a mere mortal. I mean... Now tell me where Frankenstein has taken Emily. To use all your power to defeat even the weakest enemies, you will not catch me. I can't think of a good voice for him. Frankenstein! <laughs> you do seem to have some spirit, even though you're just a human. Arr. Wait, where are you? Where'd you go? <laughs> I'm over here now. Oh, I have acquired a sword. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> That's the idea. They basically... <laughs> they sent the village idiot to go try and rescue... <laughs> anyway. Dort must be the Belmont the family doesn't like to talk about. Okay, my password is... zip zip Okay, write that down, people. Anyway, here we go, we're in the forest. Oh, Jesus! And I'm dead. Uh, yeah, continue, I guess. I got nommed on by a cacodemon. Oh, sweet, I got a sword beam. Hey, this works, I guess. Whoa! Tree beast! It's the Langoliers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're here to eat this dimension. This reality must be consumed. They got Bronson Pinchot, now they're coming after me. Well, at least the sword beam makes this somewhat easy. Oh, crap, we got pinky demons, like from Doom. 
And apparently I got another turkey leg. Oh, who's this guy? Blade Master. He looks like Sylvester Stallone. Who goes there? A human? What happened to you? I, the great Blade Master, have been mortally wounded in the battle with the Demon Horse. Are you also pursuing Frankenstein? If that's your mission. But wait, you are Frankenstein! At least you were in Death Race 2000. If that's your mission, I'll give you this secret potion. It should help. <laughs> I have acquired potion! Awesome! Have you faced the evil he monster and she monster of the trees? His real name is. Nah, Rob, I'm thinking something more like maybe Hubert. Aha! Whoa! Shit. Gotta be careful of those falling rocks, man. Oh shit, here we go. Oh shit. Got her. Oh crap, he's having a nervous breakdown. He monster. I should thank you, boy. What do you mean? The forest was at peace until a mysterious force took control and... ...turned it into an evil and terrible place. You have freed me. Wait, you must be talking about Frankenstein! What do I get? I have acquired more life! Sweet. Why do you say we space this out? I don't feel like any nasty surprise. Oh. No, I don't want to go that way. Okay, let's see. Uh... Okay, I made it. What the hell, Medusa? Medusa, master of the forest. All intruders must face destruction at my hand. Come meet your doom. Hey, uh, uh. I'ma hit you. I'ma hit you. Oh, really, your only attack is a fucking tail whip? Man, if I had a punch, that would be super hard. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, oh God, I love that face. Oh! Be careful, she's... Damn it. Bitch! Oh! She got me. Uh, please don't tell me I have to start all the way at the beginning of that shit. Okay, good. At least I started the boss fight. Dr. Medusa girlfriend. Yes, I get it. Alright, well, I don't have my turkey leg, but I at least have... Okay, she's a lot harder now without the... God damn! Wait, did I win? The fuck? Okay, that was weird. Was that a game over?
Man, I wasn't expecting to get wrecked that easily, but... Alright, well, I guess that's as far as I'm gonna get in Frankenstein. Ah, well. It was fun while it lasted, but let's see what else we got. Um, Akumajo Special Boku Drakurakun. Let's see, I'm looking for spooky shit. Alien Syndrome. Now I want to stay away from that stuff tonight. Balloon Fight. Bard's Tale. No thank you. Beetlejuice. Okay, fine. We'll, s we'll switch to that. Oh god, it's LJN. I made a mistake. But it's programmed by Rare. It's showtime. God, that face is the stuff of nightmares. I love how the Maitland's house is bigger than the entire town they live in. Perspective, people. Learn it. Alright, so let's see. Okay, that doesn't take me anywhere. I'm assuming I have to avoid these. I'm inclined to agree with you, Rob. What the fuck was that? Yeah, you know what? Fuck this. This game sucked. Alright, um, let's see what else we got. Bard's Tale, Batman... Boy and his blob. Bram Stoker's Dracula. Wonder if this one's any good. Okay, there's no music whatsoever. What am I doing here? A journey through Transylvania. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Question blocks? I have a feeling this is not very faithful to the movie. Or the book. Or anything for that matter. That was easy. Alright, night time. A journey through Transylvania. Oh my god, the one thing that's horrifying about this game is the goddamn music. Seriously, who composed this? I mean, not to toot my own horn, but give me a shot of vodka and Fami Tracker and I can probably make something better. Just saying. Alright, so what am I fighting here? I found a boss, at least. What the hell is that supposed to be? Medusa? Dracula's Shadow?
Yeah, in reality, Rob, it's actually the pumpkin zone from Mario Land 2 for the Game Boy. They kind of over... Uh, Transylvania kind of overlaps with it. Trapped in Castle Dracula. Okay. Trapped in Bowser's Castle... I mean, Dracula... Castle Dracula. I think I need to refresh this. Yep. It all comes together, exactly. It all falls into place. Seriously, what the hell is with this music? Oh, I still have two minutes, like over three, two minutes left. Oh god, there's spooky ghosts. screwed myself. This music is terrible. Well, at least I made it. Nighttime now. Okay, so I guess there's a day and a night cycle. What in. Ugh. This music's killing me. I didn't get the diamonds. <laughs> I don't even know where they were, Rob. I'm just focused on getting coins and getting the fuck out of here. And apparently water hurts Jonathan Harker. God, this music. Oh, and I'm dead. Which means I gotta listen to this god-awful tune all over again. Alright, you know what? Fuck this game. I can't take this anymore. Alright, so Dracula was a bust. Let's see. Alien 3? No, nah, I don't want to do that. Armana no Kisaki. Argos no Senshi. Battle Kid I'm not doing tonight. Gotta be something. Yeah, <laughs> it's just... Seriously, like I said, give me a shot of vodka and Family Tracker. I could come up with something. Devil Man. I like Devil Man. I don't like this, though. I did Monster Party last year, Rob. Is that Zenon? I think that's Zenon. And there's Siren and Kaim and Agvel and I guess and there's our hero there's a Kirifudo
Yep, yeah, nope, we're not doing this. Sorry if I'm being picky, but that, that just looks terrible. Alright, so what else we got? Dragon Warrior... Evil Dead? Wait, they made an evil... What the hell is this? Hold on, I gotta check it out. No. They, they didn't. They, they totally didn't. Th did they? Wh who's responsible for this? I, I really want to know. Though I gotta admit, turning the Master Sword into a chainsaw was a nice achievement. <laughs> what, what the? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I wonder if they changed the story text. Or if they kept it the same. I wonder how dedicated they were to this tech. Ash had almost forgotten that night long ago, but now the Necronomicon had returned. Okay! The stakes are higher. Ash must save Sheila, stop the dead, and make it out alive. Zelda 2, The Legend of Ash. Yes! This is going to be amazing! Groovy. Oh, there's already a save file on here. Alright. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so the shield is his shotgun, and the sword has been replaced with a chainsaw. That shoots me- th this is great. I love the fact that Link's sprite actually has Ash's chin. That is a very nice touch. Okay. Okay, I I'm on board with this. Fuck it. And the bits and bots have been replaced with mini ashes. I'm curious to see how committed they were to this. Yes, laser shooting chainsaw. Okay, the fact that they added a background to the cave areas kind of makes them a little bit easier. Which is nice. I'm just curious to see how much they changed. Obviously, they changed the Octorox. And the magic container's been replaced by something, I don't know what. This is fucking weird. But I gotta admit, I like this. I can appreciate a good run. I can appreciate a good hack. Curious. Oh, bitch. Oh, another one. Nope, we're gonna cancel that for now, because I know better. Might as well go into town and heal myself. What town are we in? Welcome to Saren. It does, doesn't it? Anyway. Let's go get ourselves a hooker. That's right, baby. Refill my life. Oh, yeah. Give me some sugar, baby. I know. I can appreciate the attention to detail. It is a hack of Zelda 2. Jake. Yeah, I talked with my father. Okay, that hasn't changed. You get your only freebie spell, the shield. This is so goddamn weird. Baroni? Oh, so they changed the name of the desert from Parappa. He turned green! Oh, whatever. I got my shield magic, at least. I don't know how far I'm going to get through this. I think I'm probably just going to go through Parappa Palace just to see what they changed. And then, beyond that, I think I'm going to switch to something else. I don't want to get it hung up for too long on one game. 
Oh, hey, Mad Gamer, welcome back. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Maybe we'll get lucky and one of these guys will drop a pee bag. Or whatever passes for a pee bag in this game. But I don't think I'm gonna get that lucky. Yeah, Mad Gamer, this is actually a hack of Zelda 2. Not what I was looking for. Because <laughs> I'm a different person. I'm not Necro, and this is not definitely not Guns of Boom. <laughs> I'm the other guy that lurks on this channel. At odd hours. They kept the keys the same, it looks like. Anyway, oh, it's G now instead of P. But anyway, 60 close to, uh... Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I know you're looking forward to more Guns of Boom, probably. And I crushed your hopes and dreams. But tonight is my night. That was weird, but I'll take it. The bubbles look the same. Whoa, Jesus! Okay, at least that wasn't bad. And I see the Gorias weren't changed either. No, I am not. I am Pinto. I am not Necro. The heck is that guy doing there? Necro also wouldn't normally play stuff like this. I'm the weirdo on this channel that likes old stuff. Anyway, welcome to, I guess, Baroni Palace and not Parappa. Let's see how far we get. There's nothing to be confused about. It's just I'm not Necro. I'm a different person. And I usually stream Friday and Monday nights. That's pretty much it. Oh, right! Attack power's up! Not that it'll help me much, but it'll do in a pinch. You know, even though I'm not Necro, feel free to stick around. I'm probably going to be on for a while. Like, at least another two hours. If I'm lucky. A 
Okay, well, if you're worried about your head exploding, um, the only thing I can recommend is getting a bunch of duct tape, wrapping it around your face, but making sure you keep your eye, your eyes, nose holes, and mouth open. Like, don't cover that up. But everything else is good. Yeah. Just keep your head bound so this way it doesn't, you know, go kablooey. I will not be held liable for any head explosions during stream. We at Frozen Gaming are not legally responsible for any head explosions. Just play straight. No! Necro... <laughs> Jacob... Jacob, don't... <laughs> no! Mad Gamer, whatever you do, do not play strafe. That's the worst thing you could do if you want to avoid head explosions. You'll just die! Uh-oh, Hammer Brother. I don't know, I was on board with this, but... A lot of the monsters haven't changed. It's on Steam, Mad Gamer. Check it out. It's not bad, I enjoy it. If you're a fan of old school Quake, like the original Quake from the 90s, then you'll probably enjoy it. Oh my, what a treat. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, that's what it looks like. They just added skulls to things. I don't think I was supposed to go this way. They really kind of did just add skulls to things. I just noticed, I find it funny, but Ash still has the elf ears. That's hilarious. Anyway, going down. He was supposed to earlier today, which I'm kind of surprised he didn't. He had mentioned he was going to be streaming earlier today, but either he forgot or he had technical difficulties, I don't know what happened. If not today, then I'm pretty sure he'll probably be back tomorrow. Or maybe Sunday, I'm not entirely sure. But he usually streams pretty frequently, so I don't think... Even if you missed him today, I don't think you're gonna... It's usually gonna be either me or him. tonight, Kells. Oh man, I'm only five away from leveling up. Will I make it? Who knows? No! Hopefully they don't start me on the other end of the bridge. Shit! Doesn't matter. Attack level three. I fucking made it. We're good. Ow. Bastard. Alright, we're good.
Yeah, if you're here tonight for Guns of Boom, you're gonna be sorely disappointed. Or gravely disappointed, if you'll pardon my pun. Think of me of the think of me as the late night public access channel as opposed to um Necro's primetime cable. I'm the guy that plays Bob Ross in Red Dwarf at like one in the morning. I do not. I unfortunately do not play Guns of Boom. Fine, magic goes up. Whatever. I'm still gonna lose to Horsehead. Well, that doesn't help me. Alright, anyway, time to die to Horsehead. What the hell is this supposed to... They just added, like, horns to him. Well, I knew that was gonna happen. Shit, last life. Oh. Might as well shield myself. Yeah, pretty much. I think they're going for the whole Army of Darkness thing. Got him. Boom. Aw, oh, man, that's all I get. Oh, well. Since I only have one life left, I want to see if they change the game over screen at all. Let's see. But that oh, they just put the Necronomicon on a pedestal. That was lame. Alright, anyway, that was Evil Dead. Alright, I wonder what other spooky NES titles I have. But I'm probably going to be hopping systems all over tonight, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. So let's see. Doki Doki Yuenshi. I have no idea what the hell that is. Lazy. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, no Fester's Quest. Frankenstein, we already did. Nah. Ah, real monsters. I don't think I have that one. I'll have to double check. But obviously it wouldn't be for the NES. I think that was more on the SNES and the Genesis. King's Knight. No, we already played King's Knight. Screw that. Not doing that again. Ooh, Maniac Mansion. That's always fun. Yeah. Oh! Mon well, we already did Monster Party, but how about Monster in My Pocket? That might be fun.
Oh, that's adorable. Let's press start. Let's see what this is all about. Obviously no one's playing with me. I think I'll play as the monster. We'll keep going with the Frankenstein theme. Why not? Alright, so what's this all about? Ha! Ha! I sent out my henchmen! While you were watching TV! They will defeat you. And that's the plot of this game, ladies and gentlemen. Riveting. Alright, anyway, here we go. Stage one, monsters in my house. Okay, I can dig this. It's a nice little platformer. So you just run around beating the shit out of other monsters. Okay. Does anybody remember, anybody remember the trading cards they used to give out at 7-Eleven back in the day? For uh, Monster in My Pocket? Does anybody still have any of those? I think I had the one for Medusa. But like, that was the only one I kept. I don't get it. These guys are just running right into my fists. These lion men are ready to shank a bitch. Yeah, I never had any of the tiny figures. I just had the training car trading cards. I gotta admit, I'm digging this. They were like little tiny figurines, right? Like, kind of like when they had the muscle figures. They weren't articulated, were they? Like they didn't have movable joints? I honestly don't remember. Oh shit, boss time, I think. And he fights like Chief Scalpum from Sunset Riders. Same attack pattern and everything, except he's slower. Ah, that's what I thought. Anyway, I think I just killed Jack the Ripper. That was stage one. And I think I just got an extra life. Anyway, big trouble in the kitchen. You know what this reminds me of? This kind of reminds me of Rescue Rangers. Except you didn't stage select. But it's the same idea. You're a tiny creature fighting other tiny creatures. I have no idea what the hell those things are supposed to be. hell are these supposed to be? Manticores? Griffins? And I got trolls throwing sugar cubes at me. What the hell? There better be health in the next stage. I'm dying here. Oh no! Axe throwing midgets, my one weakness! And... Rocks. I don't have any other attacks, do I? 
No, none of the other buttons do anything. Oh no, my one weakness, the stove! Fire bad! Anyway, at least I got full health. Oh, we're in the fruit. Yeti? Wendigo? I forget what this guy is. Oh shit, he sub-zeroed me. And he's dead. Crisis from underground. Uh-oh. Judging from the music and the name of the stage, I smell a sewer level. hell are those things supposed to be? Oh no, golf balls! Seriously, who the hell's playing mini golf in the middle of the street? Yep, called it. Goddamn sewer level. Oh, they take two hits, okay. Man, I am not doing too well. Merman. Ah, oh, crap, and of course it stops the minute I jump. Shit, what am I fighting? Oh, it's the Kraken! Probably shouldn't have just stood right over him, but whatever. Alright, I'm just gonna have to play this very carefully. Okay, I think I got it. I can get six hits in if I'm careful. Seven, okay. Ah, shit, he started with the... Got him! Her, whatever. Still no one-ups, though. Damn it. Towering Catastrophe. Gotta admit, I am digging the music for this. Okay, you gotta run up the chain link fence. Got it. Okay, the music for this stage is actually pretty good. Turning my headphones up. Oh, 
Well, that was a waste. Oh, but at least I got an extra life. Yeah, I can see why, Rob. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this one. As opposed to everything else I've played so far tonight. But then again, it is Konami, so it kind of makes sense. Oh, no! Uh... Wow, it took two lives for me to remember I had a double jump. I was doing good until that. How rare are we talking? Shit! Is that it for me? Game over. Fuck it, I'm gonna keep going. Does it start me back at the beginning of the stage, though, or what? Yeah, unfortunately. Fuck it. I don't care. Remember, man, you have a double jump. Jesus! I am defeated. Whatever, I'll take the hit. Stupid goblins with their slide kicks. Cheddar Goblin, did you eat all the macaroni and cheese? At least you can stunlock the enemies, so it's not completely unfair. Well, for you. Not for the enemies. I'm pretty sure every one of these enemies is like, this is bullshit! Am I fighting Gorgons? I don't know what the hell I'm fighting. They're not Medusas. Good, at least they're giving me health. Probably should have jumped out of the way of that, but whatever. Alright, I think I got this now.
I don't even know what the hell that thing's supposed to be. I got him. Sweet, so I made most of my score back. Not bad. Oriental Illusion. Anyway, welcome to Ganbari Goemon. I'm expecting Kid Ying and Dr. Yang to show up at any moment. What? I double jumped. Fuck you. I don't- God damn it. I swear to God, I double jumped over those. Whatever. You know, say what you want. The license could be obscure. The game could be kind of shitty. But if it's by Konami, you can always expect a killer soundtrack. That's what I tried to do. Okay. Oh, that was a bust. Hey, what's up, Savage? And yeah, Rob, I remember when Konami was good. Speaking of which, I'm being chased by pachinko machines. Haha, <laughs> you got screwed. Who's up for a rousing game and you don't know Jack? Yes, that's... It's... It was foretold in the scrolls. <laughs> Illuminati confirmed. Savage. Glad I can alleviate your boredom somewhat. Though, I don't know how much a middle-aged man playing old retro games from the late 80s and early 90s is gonna help with that. But, glad I could be of assistance. Ah, oh, shit, I lost my screw. And I'm getting my ass kicked. Please tell me the boss is behind this door. Okay, thank you. What am I fighting now? Banshee? Oh, Banshees! Okay, you have to... Oh, it's one of these kind of games. You gotta find out which one's the real one. And I was right. Okay.
Alright, I'm gonna play this one smart, I guess. I gotta be careful. I really hate these types of bosses. Shit. Oh shit, I found her. Got her. Yep, no one-ups for me. Oh crap, we're on the final stage. Last battle at Monster Mountain. Shit, okay. The enemies here are tough. Oh yeah, I should probably mention, I'm not Necro. I'm Pinto, I'm the other guy who streams on this channel. And this is the stuff I usually stream. Zapped by King Ghidorah over here. Shit, even Ghidorah's got a bunch of health. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a horror game. I mean, it's definitely got monsters in it. I'm mostly just playing retro spooky games. The one you're playing, the one you're seeing right now, was a monster in my pocket for the NES. Yeah, pretty much. It's spooky, but not necessarily scary. Hey, what's up, gamer boy? Not bad. God damn, those thunder beams. Oh, it's just a straight up Hydra. I was wondering what that thing was. A gamer boy, I'm not Necro. I'm Pinto, and the other guy streams on this channel. Thank you, Savage. I have a feeling I'm gonna get that a lot tonight as people kind of trickle in.
Oh, wait. If only the video had a title or something with it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, I figured it was going to be one of these things. I got to fight all the old bosses again. Well, thankfully, this guy's a little bitch. And he's dead. Oh, they have less health. Okay. So I guess next is going to be the Yeti. Yep. Oh. So anyway, yep, the gauntlet. I hate this trope in old games. It's like, I already beat these guys once. Why do I have to do it again? Oh, he's dead. Anyway. Thankfully, they do have less health. But I only got two lives left. Well, one and a half, considering I'm down to half health on this one. Oh, that's right, the Kraken's next. I just gotta be careful. Don't tell me what to do! Not in this one. There's only my fists. <laughs> it's the Kraken, Savage. It has been unleashed. God damn it, Rob. <laughs> it's better dick. <laughs> now is not the time for puns. I just got punched in the face. <laughs> okay, good. At least the Kraken's dead. <laughs> Kill him, lol. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Alright, so now I think the Banshee's next, or was it? No, it's the Gremlin. This jerk. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh, crack in his face. Okay, that was. It was a good. It was a good attempt. It was a good attempt, Savage. I'll give you points for that. <laughs> and he's dead. Eat a dick, gremlin. So then the Banshee's next. Yep. Ah, shit. Crap, I hate the diagonals. Oh, I had the perfect opportunity, too. If she comes at me from the right, it's not as bad. Boom! 
Oh good, at least they give me health. Uh, to answer your question, Gamer Boy, this game is monster in my pocket for the NES. Oh shit, the Warlock! Whoa! No, Frankenstein already played. I'm playing as Frankenstein. Okay, let's not get greedy. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do one at a time. He almost got me with that one. How much health does this guy have? I really hope he doesn't have a second form. I'd be pissed. Bastard! Yeah. Oh my god, Rob, you're killing me. That pun hurts hurt worse than the lightning. Fuck, I missed. Oh, yeah, exactly. It's the worst, Savage. My god, this is taking forever. Got him! Please, no second form. Please, no second form. Yes! I did it! Okay, li little faster, little faster. There we go. <laughs> Sweet, now I can go back to watching TV. Oh, no, not again. I have returned. Warlock! You thought you defeated me. <laughs> I am much stronger than you expected. <laughs> now I will... What? Please tell me just... Are you fucking joking me? Okay, I just have to... I know what I need to do. Damn it. <laughs> Are you for real? 
Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I wasn't expecting that at all. Shit. Oh well. Alright, so what's next? I think I got one more NES game in me and then I'm gonna switch to a different, um... Different system. <laughs> uh, that's the thing about those old NES games, man. <laughs> Alright, what's left? Phantom Fighter. Oh, I totally forgot about that game. Alright, I guess we'll end with that. Well, not the stream, but at least the NES run, because I got other systems we can go to. Oh, you're heading out, gamer? Okay. Well, if you decide to come back, I'm going to be here probably till about 1 in the morning. Maybe 1.30, maybe 2. I don't know. I don't know how late I'm going to stream. Anyway, welcome to Phantom Fighter. This game is weird. Kenshi, we've been waiting for you. Kyonshis have been discovered and people are hiding in their houses. Yeah, for me that's around two in the till around two in the morning, Savage. Anyway, welcome to Phantom Fighter, where we fight hopping vampires. I'm getting my shit kicked in right now. Damn, man! Now, I can't do that shit. I'm in my late 30s. I can't stay up that late anymore. I'm an old man. I mean, I can try. God damn, yeah, I can't even- I can't do that anymore. <laughs> Feel free to rest here anytime you need to recover your strength. Okay, blah blah blah. Kenshi regained his strength. Okay, let's- let's get on with it here. What shall we do? I think we're gonna go outside. What do we got? Kyonchis are here. Danger's in the air. Like in your office chair? <laughs> I maybe done that once or twice. Worst comes to worst, I got a futon behind me. Maybe I should do that, just like have solid black on the screen. And just stream, uh, stream myself snoring for like fucking 12 hours. I'm sure the people love that. Man, I'm getting my ass kicked. You know my assistant's ragging on me. Alright, I think I'm done with all the NES stuff. Unless I find something really good to cap this off, I think I'm gonna go to some go to a different system. <laughs> Weirder stuff gets streamed on Twitch. Oh, I'm sure there is. Far Cry 5 and I fell asleep while on stream for a whole three hours so my uncle had to wake me. <laughs> Damn! Yeah, I can't do that kind of stuff. Alright, so what else we got? One last one. Wizards and Warriors. Alright. I think we're done with that for now. Actually, you know what? No. How about a bit of fortune telling? 
Welcome to the game that isn't a game. Put in my name. Actually, in second thought, let's not do this. It's silly. All right, so we're done with that for now. Let's see what else I got. What do I have for the Genesis? I think now would be a good time to find out. Yeah, that Taboo, the biggest scam NES game. You know there's still copies going for like 15 bucks? Anywho. Was it 214 or was it 211? Let's see. Anyway. Nope, this is not the one I'm looking for. So let's go to 211. So let's see, what sort of spooky games can I wrangle up for the Genesis? Alien 3, Alien Soldier, and Boogerman's not exactly. Castlevania Bloodlines, Shakan the Forever Man. Oh my god, I haven't played that in forever. God damn, okay. <laughs> that scream scared the shit out of me, I'm not gonna lie. story short, this guy Shikan and Death have a duel, Shikan wins, and he's cursed to be immortal. Yes it is. It is insanely hard. I've never beaten it myself. I toppled the master and he granted my reward. Shit. I am cursed to live until all supernatural evil is destroyed. Second joypad. Lift my keys up. Ah, uh, sorry. Ah, uh, what happened? Give me a sec. Jens is being stupid. Oh wait, I probably shouldn't have said that out loud. Oh well. What's going on with this thing? Wait, I have an idea. Give me a sec, folks. We'll make this work.
Okay, this is better. Just a few more seconds. the six button but whatever okay now let's try this one more time there we go much better all right we've already seen the intro so now, finally, welcome to Shikan the Forever Man. Sorry for the hang-up. So this game is kind of weird in the fact that you can't really die. Like, you don't have a limit on lives. But, as you can see, you're on a really stringent time limit. So you can attempt the stages as many times as you like. The problem is... Oh crap, was she the one I want to start with first? I don't think so. I forget who's over this way. Nobody. I think it was the Dragonfly King I always wanted to take on first, and I think this is him. So let's see. The Dragonfly King has lived for millions of years. Oh, you have, Savage? It hails from a prehistoric time when life on Earth was ruled by its kind. Now it's trying to regain the Earth as its kingdom. Enjoy your time, Dragonfly King, for it is your last day. Anyway. Whoa! Yeah, this game is hard. Like, I've never gotten very far in this at all. This guy's not going down. Well, that sucked. Let's try him again. Alright, so I'm terrible at this game, I found out. What do you say we try a different guy? The hell's this? From the blackness of the deepest ocean it came. The one called Mantis created an evil army and built a fortress to protect itself from me. It has wasted its time. Uh, dude, the Dragonfly King just kicked your bony ass. Oh, I feel you on that, Savage. You ever get so mad you just start salivating? Like you just start drooling like you have rabies? I lost count how many times I've- how many games I've done that with. I'm not 
remember. I'm checking, I think it was Aven Adventures of Bayou Billy. I got all the way to the end of the game, and then I game overed, and I ended up throwing the cartridge across my uh, across my house. How it survived, I have no idea. But it still works. But yeah, this one I never played. I never actually grew up with the Genesis. I didn't get one until later in life. Like when I was in college, back when GameStop used to actually sell old uh, consoles and stuff. Damn, man. <laughs> Yeah, needless to say, I don't think I'm going to get very far tonight. I'm probably going to end up switching games very quickly here. Oh, shit! Okay. Now I'm invisible. Except for my sword, so that kind of negates the whole invisibility thing. This is the most useless invisibility spell I've ever seen. This helps no one. So when you say you smashed it, Savage, did you like punch it and it still worked, or did you actually have to repair it? I'm curious. Oh shit, snakes! <laughs> I do love that death scream he makes, that ooh! <laughs> it's... Alright, I think I'm done with Shikan for now. Alright, so let's... Oh, damn. It was that bad, huh? Alright, let's see what else we got. Comic Zone... Decap Attack. Oh! I haven't played that in forever. Ooh! He sounds like a Yeti. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Perhaps he voice acts in that new movie Smallfoot that's coming out. Okay, but at least I think I found a game to play. And it should be interesting. But I totally forgot about, um... Oh shit, I just had it. Not Shikan. I can tell you why, Savage, because you were pissed off. I mean, it makes perfect sense. Anywho. Well, maybe you were both pissed off. Maybe you just decided your Genesis just needed to die. Anyway. Oh, nope, wrong thing. There we go. Welcome to, get, to Decap Attack. This is the first... This is the first Genesis game I ever played. Unsettling. Yeah, it is weird. Jacob, it depends on how early you want to start moving. Because you never gave me a time. Oh, is it is it that bad, Rob? Is it that um is it that loud? All right, I'm gonna lower it just a little bit. Hey, welcome to the cap attack. 
You play a mummy with a face in his chest. Oh cool, you can... You have like a princess float. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the controls are kind of weird. It's like kind of Sonic, but not. And that you can run really fast. Much easier, okay. I think we might have a winning edge here. Or maybe not. Oh! Okay, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Oh yeah? damage the console that bad. I mean, I put a dent in my NES. That thing's freaking like 30 years... Actually, yeah, this Christmas it'll be 30 years old. I should move on. Obviously, I'm not getting anywhere with this. Alright, 
right, let's see what else we got here. I think I have one or two more in me. Crew ball. Now I'll save that for another night. Atomic Robo Kid, Alien Soldier, that doesn't work. Predator 2. And Splatterhouse I did last year, I don't want to do that. Oh, really? Wow. Time Killer's Warlock. Wait, is that the Warlock based off the movie? Hold up, I gotta check this out. Try make. Yes, it is the one based off the movie. Oh, and hey, Frozen Gaming. Wait, is this Null or is that Mikey or is this Necro? Anyway, welcome to Warlock. seem to be based on anything like the movies. Oh, and there's Julian Sands! There are bats hiding out up there. This... <laughs> Great, now everything turns into horrible beasts. Freaking warlock. I probably shouldn't have killed those guys. But they got in the way of the wolf beasts, so... no idea what's going on. You know, everyone I want to talk to is now turning into a zombie. This is bullshit. <laughs> Welcome to Warlock. My health bar is just a rotting face. Man, this guy can't jump for shit. Okay. Alright, I don't think we're gonna get anywhere with this one either. Alright, so let's see what's next. I know what I can play. Do I have it on here? Yes! Perfect. I know the perfect game to play tonight. Old EA. Viewers are being warned. Warned about what? Anyways, welcome to Haunting Starring Polter Guy. I love that kid and play flat top of his. Remember when EA was good? <laughs> that boy right there. <laughs> so anyway, there they are. Those sleazy sardinis in their snazzy new home. Looks peaceful, huh? <laughs> this game is friggin' great. Yeah, that's me, Polter Guy. The green dude hanging on the left. So, long story short, this game is really... Think Beetlejuice. The whole object is to scare these people out of their house. So, they can't see you.
Yes, they are. Anywho. Let's try this thing first. So anytime I, there's like that glowing sparkly thing, that means I can do a haunt there. The yellow ones are instant. Why can't I move diagonally? I think there's something wrong with the controls. The blue ones, on the other hand, are time-based. They're like traps. So you see how, how the TV's shaking? It grabs their attention. <laughs> so now... But it wasn't enough. And the green ones are objects that you can move around. Like this rocking chair. Check this out. So now he's gonna run away. Which is good because I've... The stuff that drops is ectoplasm, which I desperately need. If I lose that ectometer, then uh, I get banished to the afterlife and I have to pick up more of it. It kind of sucks, but in any case, let me... Why can't I leave? Why can't I leave? What the hell's going on? God damn it. I hate it when I get marred with technical problems. Yeah, won't let me out of the room. That's the weirdest shit. Anyway, since I ran out of ecto ectoplasm, now I gotta go down here. I still don't know why I, can, I can't move diagonally, which is so weird. Anyway, we're out of here. Hopefully it puts me in a different- Nah, no, it still puts me in the same room. Why can't I leave? This is so annoying.
right, whatever. I got an idea. Maybe now I can actually get out of here. There we go. All right. I switched to the analog. That helps. Now I gotta find out where the hell all they, they all went. All right, so Flo's in the next room. That's the mom, so she's in the kitchen. So what do you say we fuck with her a little bit? So we'll try the table first. There we go. <laughs> uh, I think one of these cabinets is a void to outer space. Anyway, let's try under the sink. Now that I got this working. Oh, never mind. It's just acid. Alright, let's try the freezer. I think this is the dead, the dead frozen cat. Yes! <laughs> I freaking love that. <laughs> oh, I'm not done. Wait for her to go over to the salami. Oh no, never mind, she ran out. Oh shit, I missed the ectoplasm. Well, no big deal. Let's go for the nun painting. And then while she's looking at that... <laughs> There's an exit to the house right there. Is she gonna run? Fear level's very high. Oh god, Satan in the shrubbery! Come on, get out of here! No, don't run that way! Damn it. Now where the hell did she go? Oh, she's in this hallway. Where? This is the son's room. Oh no, she ran it. She bolted into a different area. Where's she now? No, she's not in here. Not in the master bath either. Where the hell did she go? Oh, next room up. All right, so we'll swing in here. Oh, she's in the living room. No, she's not in the living room. So where the f fuck is she? Did she just run all the way around the house? Yeah, I know, I'm low on ectoplasm. She's back in here again. I'm just gonna start laying traps because I'm about to go to the spirit world again. Ness! Come on, leave already, damn it! Oh, never mind. Back to the afterlife with me. Yeah, by the way, that portrait in the lower right is my health. If that completely shrinks down to nothing, then that means I die, and it's a permanent game over. I'm trapped in the afterlife forever. out of here. Come on. Alright, I'm gonna freaking give this bitch a coronary. Let's see. Necronomicon. Let's go with this. Okay. <laughs> Less like Poltergeist Savage and more like Beetlejuice. Think of it that way. <laughs> We've come for your daughter, Chuck. Alright, one down, three to go. So where are the rest of these rat bastards? 
Vito's in the garage, and Tony and Mimi are in their rooms. Jesus, Mimi needs some serious dental work. Alright, anyway. Moving right along. Obviously, there's nobody in the office. Let's head to the garage and deal with uh, Vito. It should be right in here. Bingo. Essentially, yeah. Hmm, what should I go for first? The table saw? Nah. Let's go for the mower. <laughs> and while he's dealing with that, we'll go for the chainsaw. <laughs> mm, washer dryer? Nah, he's running out of the room. I wasted that. Now where is he? Oh, he's in the hallway. Okay, cool. Let's go for the American Gothic painting and... Oh yeah, he's shitting himself at this point. I'd like to get rid of the parents first so this way the kids are all home. Oh wow! What a little bitch! Okay, so... His wife had like five heart attacks before she finally left and this guy sees like one rat and he's gone. Pathetic, okay. That leaves only the kids left. They're alone in the house. Bad news for them. Good news for me. Let's see. Alright, so here's... Here's Tony. Uh, let's go for the ninja painting first. The ninja poster. <laughs> and what's behind that? Alright, enough of that. Um, let's go for the plane, I guess. Anything else I can dick around with? What about the telescope? So I got him on the run. Is he in the hallway? Oh, I'm right on top of him. Alright. The candelabra. Oh, come on, man. That wasn't that bad. Alright. This. No, don't run that way. Shit, I forgot the ectoplasm again. Which means I'm in dire straits now, unless I can scare the shit out of him enough to get him out the back door. As I'm about to die again. Come on, leave you little shit! No, not that way! This one's gonna take a while, folks. It's, yes, the pit and the pendulum. They're giving me less and less ectoplasm now. I need to get him out of the house. Here we go again. I have to say this is the one annoying part about the game. I hate having to do this. I wish they just had a different mechanic for this sort of thing. But...
Yeah. I just hate having to constantly go here to get more ex ectoplasm. Yep, exactly. Why is it leading me backwards? Oh, we're done. Alright, so where the hell is this kid? Okay. God damn it, don't run away from me! I don't think he'll fall for the same trick twice. And apparently he did. Get out of the house, you little brat. Son of a bitch. He's back in his room! Alright, time to have some fun with your pet rat. <laughs> Alright, we'll do the telescope trick again. Leave. All right, and there goes Tony. So Mimi's the only one left. Let's see what the dar little darling's up to. What do you say? Okay, so how can I fuck with this one? I say go. We go for the traps first. So go for the stereo. Yeah, exactly, Savage. That means I'm in control. That's weird, nothing happened. Can't do anything with that. Oh, there's the carpet demon. I was wondering what was happening. I'm like, why the hell isn't that working? This. <laughs> It takes a lot to freak this kid out. This. <laughs> or maybe not. I got her on the run now. Hopefully it won't be another Tony situation. Oh, sweet, she's in the bathroom. Good. I was wondering if I was going to be able to use this area. Oh, mirror scares always the Oh god, it's Toilet Hitler! What the fuck? <laughs> Even I wasn't expecting that. And now she's in Tony's room. Okay. Go for the guitar this time. <laughs> Nobody expects Toilet Hitler. That's it, they're all gone. Hitler, after he died, went to the sewers, exactly. <laughs> hey, get back here, you wimps. I'm just warming up. Ah, go ahead and run. I'm right behind you. Right there, sorry, butts. Okay, so that was, um... What is he, a ninja turtle? <laughs> I couldn't think of a better voice for him. I guess I shook him in a little, huh? Dude, the slime balls deserve it. Yeah, essentially the Sardinis killed him. I forget if it was on purpose or if it was accidentally. But yeah, now he haunts them. So it doesn't matter what house they move into. Um, he's always like one step behind him to scare the shit out of him. I love how everything's green on him except for his nose. 
But anyway, we're gonna move on to a different game now. As fun as that was, I didn't want to focus on that all night. Considering it's already 12.35. Uh, let's see, Splatterhouse already did... I think we're pretty much done as far as, um... I mean, I could do Zombies Ain't My Neighbors, but... I don't think I'm going to do that this time. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what else I got. Yeah, there is always the Turbo Graphics. What do you see we got for that thing? Alright, so let's see. China Warrior, I did that for another stream. Alien Crush. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot of spooky stuff for this thing. Ghost Manor. Okay. I'll bite. Whoa, okay, what do you say we shrink this down just a little so it fits? Bingo, perfect. Alright, I see what this game's deal is. Ah, oh, peaceful. Yeah, I'm with you, Savage. I was attacked last night. Everyone in the village trembled as a booming voice shook the town. An evil being calling itself Orb Gamut has come to enslave the townspeople. From the dead, the army protects his hideout. Please, Arthur, use the back way up to the old manor and see if you can save us all. Go now, time is short. Use this magic globe, it will help protect you. Here, I got it as a, I got this out of Spencer's gifts. Surely it will protect you from demons. So welcome to Ghost Manor. Oh shit! And right off the bat, son of a bitch. I am playing a wide-eyed youth with a oversized head. Five minutes into this shit, and I'm just like, what's going on here? Why is this happening? Okay, so can I go into this door? No. Okay, I think I'm gonna chalk this one up as a bust in like the next five seconds. Because this is just ass. Oh, oh, shit. Well then. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I think we're done with that one. Alright, so what else we got? Ghost Manor was a bust. Ooh, Ghouls and Ghosts. I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna play the arcade version. Fuck it. Let's see, Lady Sword. That doesn't sound scary at all. Kiki Kai Kai. I know, right? Liquid Kids. Night Creatures. That sounds spooky. Let's give that one a whirl. That's a no from me, dog. Yeah, exactly.
Alright, what the hell is this? Hecate in the form of a bat has taken you. You are now doomed to be one of us. Okay, kinda leery about this one, but we'll give it its fair shot. You have the mark of the bat upon you. I must not come any closer to you. Listen to the wise woman, she can help. Okay. Okay, so this is like a beat-em-up? goes, the turbo graphics didn't really have a whole lot going for it, huh? Yeah, we're witnessing it tonight. I mean, I already did a turbo graphics stream a while ago and played a couple games for it, but yeah, outside of Japan, the system did not do well, and it's easy to see why, because there wasn't really a whole lot going for it. Oh well. I guess I'll have to move on. I still got plenty of time before I have to turn in. At least another hour and 20 minutes. So maybe after this I'll hop systems if this doesn't really tickle my fancy anymore. I guess that's the wise woman. Poor youth, evil has marked you. Find and destroy the queen of the night, or by dawn you'll be a night creature. She can assume many shapes. You will find weapons that will help you. I will advise when I can. You're the most useless wise woman ever. But anyway, let's keep going. Oh, owls! And werewolves! And tree people! What the fuck is this? Lord of the Rings? You're being attacked by Ents. this? Oh crap, I think I died. Yep, game over. And not a moment too soon, because that was ass. Alright. Yeah, we get it. We get it. Stop. Alright, Proteus, Raiden, Salamander, Samurai Ghost I've already played. Silent Debuggers I already did for another stream. Yeah, that's really it. I mean, I've already played Splatterhouse, so that kind of rules that. Ooh! There is one thing left. I mean, it's a pinball game. But it is one of the rare good, you know, horror-themed, Halloween-themed games I could play for the system. So let's do it. Welcome to Devil's Crush. games is just hard as balls.
it is. Yeah. And that's something, Rob, because that game, this game's fucking rare. Exactly. Baby, that's the only time a pinball game will actually do that. That's enough of that. Time to move on to a different system. Hmm. I wonder if I should go SNES or if I should go... Or if I should go Master System. I'm not sure. I wonder what would be better. It makes me wonder what actually is on the Master System that can be... I mean, I did do a couple for SNES last year because I did Clock Tower and then I did Nosferatu and a couple others. But, uh, let's see. Maybe there were a couple that I missed. Let's find out. Oh, wait, never mind. Hey, Necro, what's going on, man? Yeah, you were on the streaming channel earlier. Oh, hey, Gamers Tomb. What's going on, man? What, uh, Devil's Crush? What the hell? Okay. Uh, nope, that didn't work. All right, so let's go back to the other one. I just stream a lot of weird shit. There we go. Potato PC? Uh, yes and no. I've had some problems with my PSU lately, which is why I haven't been streaming anything really high-end. Because last time I did that, the stream cut off uh, abruptly. Because my system turned off by itself. Which is always a big red flag, so I'm doing a bunch of low-end stuff tonight. 
I was originally going to do the last half of uh, Dark Side Detective, but I think I'm going to save that, either going to save that for Monday, or maybe not, I don't know, so anyway, let's see, Shin Megami Tensei, that'll take too long, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, everybody's seen that, Warlock I already played for the Genesis, so I'm not going to do that either, there doesn't really seem to be a whole lot, Nosferatu I already did, Maju O. Oh wait, isn't that um Isn't that King of Demons? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, props to can it, who <laughs> props to whoever can tell me what movie that artwork is from. It's poster work for a 1980s horror movie. Batman Returns, Battletoads and Double Dragon. Demon's Crest is going to take too long. Clock Tower already did. You know what? Yeah, let's do... If I remember correctly... Let's go with Maju O. No, it's not, Necro. It's never a great game. It never will be a great game. Anyway, welcome to King of Demons. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this one's all about. Okay, so I'm apparently Rambo. And I'm fighting a Mighty Morphin's Power Rangers villain, apparently. Abel, it's been a while. It's me, your old friend, Bear. Bear, you saw your soul to the demons, didn't you? Where are Maria and Iria? Rejoice! Is it called House? Oh, shit! I was looking at chat and I didn't realize I got my shit wrecked. Oh, oh my god, what the hell is this? <laughs> that is one swole man, exactly. This is anime as hell. Yes! And suddenly now my pistol has superpowers. This really is like Rambo versus Satan. I couldn't protect Iria. Yeah, exactly. We have to hurry. So now my wife turned into a sprite or a fairy. This, this is fucking weird. Anyway, and we're on to stage two, I guess. So we're shooting the fuck out of demons. This is basically end of days if it starred Sylvester Stallone instead of Schwarzenegger. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay. And we got giant worms behind us. We need to move. We need to move now. Uh. Oh, God damn it! Another sewer level. I'm done with sewer levels. And we got hookers with shotguns, regular zombies, frog people. <laughs> Naked chicks in cages, apparently, in the background. This game has everything! But it really is kind of like a deal with the devil, because it's just twisted horribly wrong. I'm guessing that's health? Yep, totally is. It really is! And apparently I got a heart container. Oh no! Shotgun hookers! My one weakness! Alright, what am I fighting now? Oh, 
Okay, so I gotta watch out for Spider Face over here. Did it just stick its tongue out at me? Ah, damn it. It's dirty pool, man. Yeah, he ain't so itsy bitsy. Holy shit, the itsy bitsy spider just fucking exploded. I love his power walk. That's right, I gotta get my steps in. Got a power walk. Need to get my quads in shape. Okay, how the hell am I supposed to fight this thing? I'm not even sure if I was supposed to go this way. Oh sweet, at least I won and I got a one-up. And I got a key. Alright, let's power walk to the right now. I don't know what the hell that thing was, but it died pretty easy, thankfully. Luckily I have a gun with infinite bullets. Just take down any motherfucker that gets in my way. Ugh, blam! Oh, shit! Oh, never mind, my health bar just extended. I was wondering what was going on. Oh, no! Alright, am I fighting a boss now, or...? Oh, what the hell is this? This definitely looks like something out of Devil Man, that's for sure. And it's dead. Ooh. What does this do? What do I get? I've become Birdman! Not Harvey Birdman, more like the Michael Keaton Birdman. Alright, so I guess we're on stage three. So what kind of powers do I get as Bird? I get a fucking laser! With the most annoying sound effect ever made. R.I.P. headphones users. It's a bitch to aim, too. Yeah. I thought we went with Cyberbird. Don't they esta Harvey? Harvey esta down. I gotta admit, I do like the music. It's very unsettling. Which kind of works for a whole post-apocalyptic demon overrun landscape like this.
god, that laser sound is so goddamn annoying. I apologize. For those of you wearing headphones, I sincerely apologize. That noise is just punishment for every time I miss. Am I gonna fight something? I smell a boss battle. Oh, Jesus Christ! Sorry, Savage. charge attack. If I knew that, I would have been using this the whole time. This is the very hungry caterpillar. Yes. This bitch is ready to feast. Verdukin! Killed by a minor enemy. That's just wonderful. Anyway, welcome to Demon City Shinjuku. Actually, no, welcome to Devil Man. I'm sorry. That's what this is, pretty much. It's pretty much they wanted to make a Devil Man game, but they couldn't get the rights to it, so they just made this shit instead. It's like the best way I can describe this. What the hell? Man OVA? Man, this thing's annoying. Maybe I'll save this one for another time. But as of right now is not the time. Okay, so that's pretty much all I had as far as SNES games go. I already did like a bunch of spooky games last year for that. So, with that being said, uh, let's see, moving on to, I already did Turbo Graphics. I already did NES. I don't really have anything for the Game Boy. Except maybe Super Mario Land 2, but that doesn't really count. So I guess the only place to go from here is the Sega Master System, honestly. Let's see if we got anything for that. Is it 364 or is it 36? Shit, I don't remember where I put all those.
Oh, you know what? Crap, I totally forgot about the uh, Genesis Ghostbusters game. Shit. Oh, hey, Holly. Um, about to play some Master System games, actually, if I can friggin' find them. But right now, I'm having no luck. I thought I had them all in the same place, but I guess not. Did they not transfer over? Hmm. Ooh. The one thing I do have... Nah, we'll do that as a closer. Ah, uh, shit, where did I put those things? got to be somewhere in here. You know, I have a better idea. There's nothing there but a discarded beer cans. Okay, I found out where they are. We're good. We are totally good, okay. Hold on. I thought we were good. <laughs> Give me a sec. I had it and I lost it. Okay, so that's where it is. Open file location. There we go. All right. So let's see. We have Adam's family. No, I'm not going to friggin' do that. Ashura and Mitsuhime. There's got to be a couple of spooky games on here. Oh, speaking of which... You were saying Rob. Welcome to the business world. You are now the proud owner of a new franchise. Here's ten grand. Use it wisely. <laughs> Alright, well... We'll use the hearse. 
It's only 4,800. News needs new shocks, brakes, rear end, mufflers. All right. I forget exactly what I need in this version, but obviously I need a PK meter. Laser confinement system. Super anion beam. Super ghost vacuum. Defensive wall. Alright, hopefully that's enough. Yeah, it plays exactly like the NES game, except it's better, I guess. <laughs> nice! Yeah, the... As long as it wasn't the NES game, you were fine. The NES, the NES game sucked. Like, it had sucked horribly. I remember getting that at six years old and being so mad. Oh, they killed one of my dudes. So it's pretty much the same idea. There's really not much to this. Except some of the assholes on the world map that actually steal your money if you run over them. That's really it. So... Well, that's good. It kind of needed one. Honestly, Extreme Ghostbusters is way underappreciated. And as far as a sequel series goes, it was actually pretty damn good. People don't give it the, cre the credit they deserve. Or it deserves, I should say. Sorry, it's one in the morning. My brain processor's starting to shut down. But I'm going to keep going for another hour. nothing out here. Yeah, see, those people take your money away. So that's enough for the Ghostbusters. What else we got? Borgman. Now that doesn't sound spooky enough. Castle SG. I don't know. That might be Castle Illusion. Cyber Shinobi. That's a game for another time. Double Dragon. Uh, Droll. Echo the Dolphin. Elevator Action. Galactic Protector, Galaxy Force, Ghost House, Ghouls and Ghosts, which is not really a great version, so I'm going to spare you that one. Hang on, High School Kimengumi, yeah, no thanks.
Thanks. Impossible Mission. Jurassic Park. Ken Seiden, which I've already played. But you know what? I'll play it again just for fun. Why not? The best way I can describe this one is Japanese Castlevania. I've played this before on another stream, but I don't remember which stream it was. But anyway, here we go. I don't really know what the plot of this game is, but really it's just you're in the Warring States era of Japan hunting down demons. So I guess... Oh my god! I wasn't expecting to get my shit wrecked in the first five minutes. Okay, and I immediately forgot how hard this game is. Of course, it doesn't help the fact that my buttons are reversed. Hey, what's up, Kilroy? Yeah, this version's way harder. How you doing, Kilroy? Gotcha, gotcha. Glad you were able to hang out with me tonight. It's always appreciated. But like I said, this is essentially Castlevania set in feudal Japan. He's here somewhere. He was on chat. He was on Discord earlier, but I think his mic was messed up. Like I tried to I tried to raise him, but it was just I was just getting static. It was weird. Yeah, I figured you were still around. gonna camp out on the stairs, huh? Okay. Alright, let's see if I can take out the boss with half health. Oh wait, never mind. Oh, I got a sword upgrade. That helps. Alright, boss time, I think. Yep! Music isn't bad for this. I like the fact that it uses FM synths. This is pretty cool. Splitting, spinning blue demon wheel of death. <laughs> I know, right?
<laughs> exactly. And I got something. I don't know what it is. games I wanted to showcase because the Master System does have a couple of really neat spooky games but the one I wanted to play the most as a follow-up to my arcade stream that I did This game is frustrating as hell if you don't have the light phaser, the light gun that came with the Master System. Playing this game with a controller is bullshit. Anyway, welcome to Ghost City. It's story time, kids. Somewhere between life and death lies a city of goblins and ghosts. It's a city that appears every 13 years. Where its evil dwellers thirst for a living soul. Help me. I'm being held prisoner in the basement of White Manor. To make matters worse, my soul's been stolen. Free me and help me get to Ghost City. Yeah, I probably could, just culminating with the, um... I plan to do something similar, but that's not gonna happen until April 26th. But anyway, Chapter 1, Demon Manor. So, this is the game in a nutshell. It's just a light gun game, with a targeting reticle. But the problem is... The reticle auto-centers, even while you're firing. So, if I hold it like this, you see how it slowly inches back towards the center? Makes it really fucking hard to aim, and it's really a pain in the ass on later levels. Anyway, welcome to the treasure room. And the whole game's an escort mission, so the... Even though it's a, it's a rail shooter, the enemies don't come after me personally, like they don't come after the screen, they come after the blonde girl. So it's essentially one giant escort mission, which also really sucks. Anyway, it's time for a boss fight. See, like I said, you have to keep the enemies off of her. And it's easier said than done. If by interesting you mean annoying, then yes. Let's see how far I get. I was, I'm, I can never beat stage five in this game. I've never gotten past it, and you'll see why. Anyway, that was chapter one. Chapter two: The Haunted Portrait. Hey, what's up, Gampy? If you're looking for Necro, he's in chat. You wouldn't believe how many times I've had to tell people I'm not Necro. Dude, your voice sounds different. Yeah, that's because I'm not who you think I am. Yes, welcome to Laser Ghost. <clears throat> Show's over, Shakespeare. Got so many night owls on here. Do I? I chained him up and locked him in my basement. 
Which is interesting because I'm in Florida. We don't really have basements. <laughs> yeah, thanks for joining, man. Anyway, welcome to the boss fight. Oh, she gonna die. Ah, don't you die on me. Okay, at least it starts me here. <laughs> You're in an undisclosed location. He'll be streaming from this location until all the charges are cleared. to the demon woods. God, I hate that. I hate that at auto centers. That shouldn't be a thing. Then again, I'm trying to play a light gun game with a controller. Necroza. Kill the worst in the beef grin. <laughs> Who you mean me? Uh, my name is Pinto. It's nice to meet you. I'm the other guy that usually streams on this channel. All right. Are these the grabby hands? I think these are the grabby hands. Or is this the zombies? Yes, full name Mighty Pinto. But you can just call me Pinto, that's fine. Honestly, I'm not feeling so mighty right now. <laughs> it's fucking 1.30 in the morning. And I'm still streaming. Oh, shit, I didn't realize I beat the stage. Anyway, the Sinister Swamp, which exactly is exactly the same as the forest. Oh, good, at least they pushed her forward. Damn it. Fucking bats, man. There we go. Shit! Out of hell with this. Oh no, grabby hands! Way. Idiot. Oh my god, these bats are infuriating the crap out of me. Oh my god. Enough with the goddamn bats. Grabby hands. <laughs> Are we done? Okay, good. That's chapter four. And this is the level that always kills me. The City of Terror. 
I hate this level so much. I need as many bombs as I can get, because this stage is such bullshit. This is where the game starts to s stop screwing around and starts killing you hard. Fucking bats, man! I'm being attacked by killer hatchbacks. is the reticle so slow too you can't get it down in time this is nothing like the arcade game why are you walking to the left walk to the right by the way I'm not controlling her This is why I always die, because she stops right on top of that friggin' car and she always gets hit. The car always gets a friggin' free hit on her and it just pisses me off. And I think I have to fight like five of these things. And I don't think I can make it to the third one. Oh, that's great, I just missed the health that I really needed. Always fun, always good, always a good time. Every bloody time. She just wanders right into its path. So really your only safe bet. And of course they put another one right immediately after. And this is it. This is the one that always gets me. At least I killed it, but I think there's a fourth one. Is that it? Oh, and of course the fucking bat kills her. Wait, I have to do the whole stage over? Yeah, no. I think I'm done. That's enough laser ghost for one night. Let's see what else we got here. There's a few more I want to go through. At least one or two. So we did laser ghost. Makai Retsuden. Master of Darkness. What's that one? And the legend goes. Oh, thanks, Google Team! That was almost perfect timing, man. But thank you for following us on, on uh, Twitch. Anyway, welcome to Master of Darkness. At that time in London, the rising of the full moon meant the coming of yet another gruesome murder. <laughs> no, it wasn't the game, Rob. The following morning would always bring the discovery of yet another body, completely drained of blood. Dr. Social knew- Dr. Social? Okay. Knew that there was something supernatural at the heart of the mystery and began investigating. Calling on the powers of the witch- are you fucking serious? Social learned that at the Thames River, horrible events beyond human imagination were taking place.
Horrible events are taking place. Castlevania clones! Oh yeah, this is straight up like a Castlevania ripoff. What the hell? What? And I got... Except... The music ain't bad. Okay, those guys are just minding their own business. Yeah, so this is basically just a poor man's Castlevania. Oh, never mind, they are hostile. Blast you right in the kneecaps. <laughs> Wow, the stake is actually more effective than the than the gun. The hell does that make sense? I think this will be the last Master System game we do. Wow, no boss, no nothing, huh? Oh, round one, stage one, okay. I got more to go. The hell? And now I have a rapier, or a foil. Nah, no, it's more like a foil. The hell is this guy, Sherlock Holmes? This is what Watson does in his downtime. When he's not solving mysteries with Sherlock, he's hunting vampires. Oh wait, a Sherlock something. <laughs> How I survive. I can't wait for this guy to be in Smash. <laughs> maybe be, maybe he'll be an alternate costume for Simon or Richter. Yeah, fuck it. I'm keeping the ri I'm keeping the foil, man. This thing's amazing. And I just shot a bat with a pistol. Just wanted everybody to witness that. I slashed this dude in the kneecaps. Damn it! I think I might want to keep the bombs too. I should probably do a Castlevania night. But I don't know what I do because there's so bloody many Castlevania games. Maybe I'll just do a double feature. Like just play two different games that are direct sequels to one another. Like maybe do Rondo of Blood and then Symphony of the Night right after. Something like that. It's an idea. Don't know if I'll do it this year. Yeah, again, there's just so many... Banshees. Jimmy can't jump on and off steps. Oh, 
good, at least I got my axe back. And I immediately lose it. <laughs> Alright. That's something to look forward to in October then. Yeah, I'll just do a Castlevania night. And fuck, I keep picking that thing up and losing my axe. God damn it. It's just, son of a bitch, I keep falling for it like an Alzheimer's patient. Hey, I wonder what's in this thing. Oh. Eh, whatever. Now I gotta take my aggression out on you guys, so I'm just gonna shank you to death. This is England. Nobody's allowed to have handguns. Not even the cops. In the words of Bill Hicks, they have no guns in England, but they have a really high crime rate, which just tells you how polite the English are. <laughs> Give me your wallet. All right. <laughs> Can't reach it. Got to go back the other way. Oh, I got boomerangs. Surely that's more potent than a gun. Well, at least in this game. Am I fighting a boss or what? I mean, come on here. I feel like I've been on the stage for the last 20 minutes. Castlevania would have thrown something at me by now. And they would have probably changed the music. Whatever, maybe we'll get lucky. Shit. Yes, my power crystal from my Ouija board killed all the enemies. Does that go away? Okay, good, thank you. I didn't want another one of those. Oh, shit. Arr, you wish to hinder me. What? Uh, okay, I don't know what access your accent you're going for. Okay, we're fighting now. It's a fight you want, sir. It's a fight you'll get. Shit. Haha, -ha, your sword is no match for my boomerangs of death. Uh, uh. I was gonna take a shower and BRB. Um, I should be on for another 45 minutes. Minutes, if I had to guess. So, you got time. So I'll probably be on until about 2.30 in the morning, and then I'm gonna go pass the fuck out. <laughs> there, you've been hindered. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? So you managed to defeat my Jack the Ripper. Wait, that was Jack the Ripper? All that has happened here has been under my control. Okay, so the game's over then. Cool, I beat it. That's awesome. And the things you've seen so far are just the start of the horrors. Go to the House of Wax if you dare. Oh, are we gonna go to the island of Dr. Moreau after? Give me a fucking break. My waxwork figures will be waiting for you, along with Bruce Campbell and Zach Galligan. Yes, that's right, we, they were in the same movie once together. <laughs> anyway. Oh, oh, oh shit, okay. This just took off. It's more like the cave of wax dolls than the house, but whatever. Okay, so the women in white dresses are the ones I gotta look out for. Oh yeah, this is very Castlevania. 
the friggin' drapes and everything. You ain't fooling nobody. In fact, I think they took some of these enemies from Castlevania, if I had to guess. <laughs> I just like watching her just like, rah, 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 rah. I'm gonna get you. Alright, let's put a stop to this. Aha, I got my foil back. Time to shank a motherfucker in the kneecaps. Or in the face. I I I'm not I'm not picky. Thank you for following Scobelez04. Boss fight? I tripped the alarm. <laughs> as long as somebody gets shanked, exactly. I will keep stabbing hoes in the face until I figure out where I'm supposed to go. I totally forgot that I had my buttons reversed. Damn. <laughs> Continue? I'm gonna say no. I don't think I really need the spirits to tell me that. Alright, anyway, uh, what else we got? Is there anything else that's spooky on here that I can play? Yamato, World Games, you just got raided. <laughs> Wolfchild. The vampire. Okay, let's give that a shot. Wait, what? Wait. It's the same fucking game. Alright, no. 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 We're done. We're done with that. How dare you trick me? It's just. God damn it. Alright, um. Shit, what else do we have? Hoshi wo sagaste. Impossible mission, Jiraiya, Kensei Din already did. Kujakuo, Laser Ghost already did. Line of Fire, Lion, Lion King. Uh, Mercs? That's not spooky. Montezuma's Revenge. Ninja Gaiden? Nah, not for a Halloween thing. Fantasy Star I'll have to do for another time. Predator 2, nah. Running Battle, Robocop vs. Terminator, nope. None of these seem to work. Alright, so I'm gonna... Go away! Alright, so that's enough of that. <sighs> Running out of options. But I still got 40 minutes worth of time before I gotta pass out, so... I think the next logical step at this point would be to go to, um, let's see what we got for the Commodore 64. If anything. Eh, 
And it's looking in completely the wrong place. Where the heck are all the- Holy shit! Yes, I did say Commodore 64. <laughs> I did indeed say Commodore 64. So, that's what we're going to end on. Of course, I don't really think I have too many things for that. But we're going to see what we got. Not a whole lot. I do have one game that I wanted to play. But I can't play that one unless I have friends playing with me. So I'll probably have to drag Rob and a couple other people over here in order to play it. It's an old uh, spooky trivia game. But the one game I did want to play, and I hope, I hope it works. Well, actually, before I do that, let me see if this actually works. Let me just see if the thing actually does what I want it to do. So, as a test... going to do what I want it to do. If it decides to do what I want it to do, which I don't think it's going to. Oh, never mind. Auto start. That's what I wanted to do. That's what I was doing wrong. All right, let's see if this works. I think we have liftoff. I just noticed this thing's completely, completely misaligned. Oh yeah, there we go. This shit takes me back. fucking crack intro screens. I love these things. When I was a kid, I would just jam out to these screens, man. I know, right? They're like whole YouTube videos of like six hour long just Commodore 64 crack intro remixes and they are fucking amazing. I'm like fucking dancing in my chair right now because I love this shit. That's why I need a camera, exactly. Hold on, let me just see if I can get this thing working. I might have to restart it. But, one more time. Okay, there we go. Now it's working. That's great. I don't really need this right now. I just want to play the game.
Yeah. Oh, this thing has a freaking trainer installed. Want to have 255 flares? No. Um, I'm just going to hit space to start. See if this works. There we go. This isn't the game I wanted to showcase, by the way. I'm just doing this as a test because I want to see if this thing would work. But anyway, this is Aliens, the computer game for the Commodore 64. So let's get this shindig started. Press return to continue. Sometime in the future, space. Silent and endless. The stars shine like the love of... Okay. Oh, it's just text of all the scenes from the movie. Blah, blah, blah. We lost contact with the colony on LV-426. Thank you for following, Mayu-1600. Morning, Marines. I'm sorry we didn't have time to brief you people before we left Gateway, but sir... What is it, Hicks? Hudson, sir. He's Hicks. What's the question? Is this going to be a stand-up fight, sir, or another bug hunt? All we know is that there's still no contact with the colony, and that a xenomorph may be involved. Excuse me, sir, a uh, what? A xenomorph. It's a bug hunt. What exactly are we dealing with here? They kind of paragrazed and truncated the lines, but I've seen this movie close to 500 times in my life, so I know it back to front. And you only need to know one thing. Where they are. Right, right. Somebody said alien. She thought they said illegal alien and signed up. Fuck you, man. Anytime, anywhere. Alright. So the first minigame of this game is figuring out what these things do. So, for pistol. There we go. Flamethrower. Smart gun. Yay! We managed to figure out what things are. Anyway. How many drops is this for you, Lieutenant? 38. Simulated. How many combat drops? Uh, two. Including this one. So now here comes the part that always gave me trouble as a kid. The dropship sequence. Just hoping this works. Now middle of the profile. Switch to DCS ranging. Oh cool, at least the analog works. You gotta keep that thing at that bar out of the red. Problem is that's not so easy. We're in the pipe, five by five. Picking up some hull ionization. Got it. Rough air ahead, we're in for some shop. Check it out. I'm the ultimate badass. 
State of the badass art. Alright, calm before the fucking storm now. Whoa, shit. Okay. Compliance in the red approaching for reach. Somebody wake up, Hicks. Yeah, exactly. And that's the part that always gets me. I always miss one ring and it just fucks everything up. But anyway, I just wanted to do that as a test. Because now we're on to the final game of the night and the last one I wanted to show you. And that is a game by EA. I think it came out in 88 or 89. Welcome to Project Firestart. And here's hoping I did this correctly. Sorry, I gotta jam out again. Here we go. I think. Maybe? Okay. Yeah, here we go. A Dynamics Production, EA Presents. Prometheus, come in. Welcome to Project Firestart. Damn. Yeah, I noticed the view count's been spiking like crazy tonight. I'm guessing those are all Twitch viewers, because I'm looking and I'm only seeing five on YouTube. And I think it's all you guys. I think it's like you, Rob, and a couple other people. John. Wait, they actually had actors for this? John, Mary, and Anna are three perfectly normal, acceptable names. Anyway. I forgot how long the load times are for this thing. <laughs> it's... Please insert disk number one. Press joystick when ready. All right. Attach disk image. Drive eight. I'm pressing the joystick buttons. Nothing's happening. Thanks, Coley. Why do I auto start disc one? Did I just fuck this up? Or maybe I was just impatient.
Hold up. I screwed this up. My bad. We're gonna have to watch the intro again because I was impatient. I got impatient, so we're gonna have to watch the intro again. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I hope you enjoyed that intro because you're gonna see it again. And the reason I wanted to play this game is because it's essentially a prototype version. It has the same premise as um, Dead Space. It's like Dead Space before Dead Space even existed. So. I don't know if there's any way I can... Oh yeah, there is a way I can skip this. And it bounced back up, it looks like. There we go. Let's try this again. So... Yeah, disc one. Pressing the joystick button. Hold on. One of these has got to work. You know, I'm going to try it on all of the drives and just see what happens. Detach all. Yeah, nothing's working. Maybe I should just start it from disk one. Hard reset. Trying it from disc one. Shit. Uh, give me a sec.
damn it, I really wanted this to work. Let's see. Give me a sec, folks. I'll try and figure this out. Yeah, I don't think talking sexy to it ever works. Hold up. Let me use... Show and folder. Extract to that. All right, let's try something else. Yeah, thanks for following, even though I'm having, I'm having technical difficulties right now. Son of a bitch. It's always a pain when you forget how you get shit to work. I'm going to try one more time and see what I can get it to do. Hell no! I'm not going to sing, are you nuts? seen the intro we don't need to see it again That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't really have much. 
I was hoping I could do this as a closer and just end the night, but I guess not. Shit. I'm bummed now. All right, fuck it. I guess we'll go back to MAME. We'll go back to arcade stuff. I'll have to figure something out, because... God damn it. I really wanted that to work. But yeah, I can't just keep lingering on that for long. I don't want you guys to see just technical difficulties the whole friggin' night. That's not fair to you. So, let's see. What can I play for the arcade that's spooky that I haven't played yet? That, my friends, is a tall order. You know what? Fuck it. I was playing early. I was playing Aliens earlier tonight. I have an idea what I could play. I know what we're gonna end the night on. No, RE7's not gonna be till like late October. And you know, provided my compute my computer's power supply doesn't die from playing it. Resident Evil 7 is going to have to be its own stream. I can't just play that for five minutes and then quit. But I know what we're going to play. I'm not going to play Aliens, but I'm going to play one of the greatest knockoffs to Aliens ever. And we're going to end the night on this. Because fuck it, I'm tired. Friends, Twitch stream watchers, Xenomorph for the C64? No, I don't have that one. I wish I did, but I don't. That would have been a nice one to end on, but we're not going to, uh, yep. We're ending on motherfucking Space Gun. Of course, I'm playing with a goddamn mouse because it's a light gun game, but fuck it. Welcome. Welcome to Space Gun. Look at that face. Look at that face. It just wants to give you a big old kiss. So this is a Space Gun made by Taito for 1990. One of the best light gun games ever made. A game I've wasted so many quarters on, you have no fucking idea. But anyway, here we go. 2039 AD. Man begins deep space exploration. However, there are many unknown dangers in space. On a crippled spaceship signaling for help. A new horror is awakened. Welcome. This is a real shooter. The only objective is to shoot the shit out of everything, except those guys. Rescue the hostages, shoot the shit out of the aliens. Bitch! Not much to say about this one. Fuck. 
Yeah, so did I. I thought the design was really neat. Oh shit, I almost shot her. Yeah, I used to... I wasted so many quarters on this fucking game. One of my top ten arcade games of all time. Stage one. My first, my first arcade game, Holly? That's a good question. Oh, my, fr my number one arcade game of all time? That would be a game called Night Striker. Unfortunately, I'm on a time limit. Going left. No, that was Night Slashers, Holly. Different game. That was when I did the double feature with uh, Laser Ghost. Different game. We're in the nest. I like how there's no music for this part. stock up on bombs. There's gonna be a bread and butter later. Bastard! Man, I'm really low on health. Shark boy. I think they can still spawn enemies. Whoa! I hate that how they can spawn the little ones out of their heads. I'm not sure how these things reproduce, and I'm not sure I want to know. Bastard! Thanks for following, Blue somebody. I don't know, my... My restream chats. I had to put it outside the window because it was... It was blocking part of the screen. Blue 3D, whatever. Freeze. I rescue five hostage. Yes, it is. You've come at the end of Retro Night. 
We're on the final game, Space Gun for the Arcade. Anyway. Much needed health refill. Now we have giant mana rays. We can't stop here. This is bad country. We were somewhere around Starbase R, on the edge of the desert, when the drugs began to take hold. How long, I wonder, before we started raving and jabbering at this boy? I'm getting my ass kicked, okay. Ah, shit, here we go. Son of a bitch! Well, at least it's dead. Well, I've beaten this. It's not easy. I always love this music. Shit. Forgot the enemies are a lot stronger now. That little pea shooter I have is not going to be... It's not gonna help me. Up oh, hostage. Now we got these velociraptor looking motherfuckers. Uh, I think I go straight ahead or right. I can't remember. I think I go right. Damn it. I avoided one just to get swiped by the other. Oh, yeah. Going left. I almost shot that guy. Alright, hopefully I can stock up on bombs here, because I fucking need to. My god, enough! Christ on a cracker. Please tell me that's health. Yes, thank you. You got a master using that goddamn back pedal. Bread and cheese. <laughs> yeah, right. Good. Fucking hell, man. Oh, good. At least I broke even on my blade bombs. Yeah, there are four types of bombs. There's flamer bombs, which I use right there. The regular grenade bombs, which now that I think about it, sounds kind of redundant. Shit. Oh fuck, I didn't even realize how much time I had. Shit!
Great. I don't think I'm making it through this. Yeah, this is where things get fucking dicey. Damn it. I was so goddamn close. Well, one quarter down. I rescued eight hostages. It would have been nine if I hadn't shot that guy. Yeah, I don't think I've ever won CC'd this, but I have beaten it under a dollar, that's for sure. Yeah, I guess I was in a chapel. I think I was supposed to go forward there, but I'm not entirely sure. Hey, an APC. I almost shot that guy. Give you headaches? Why, because of the way they're designed? Or just the noises they make? Oh shit, we're in the nest again. Sake, people. You know, lab. Yeah, yeah, I know. this guy. I mean, weren't these things in Splatterhouse? I'm just gonna use all my friggin' bombs on this I like to call this thing multi-baby.
Initiate self-destruct. Escape from here immediately. Time to get the fuck off this shithole of a planet. Thanks, Crime Front. Not much. There's only two more stages, including this one. So now only one stage left. Now enter the cockpit and return to Earth. Now here comes the fun part. Real careful here. Yeah, they just throw everything at you in this tiny space. And if the control panel's too damaged, you can't leave the planet and you get a bad ending. I couldn't risk damaging the controls. We have succeeded in our escape. The war has just started. <sighs> so that was Space Gun. That was the whole game. Alright, Agt, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Most arcade games were. They just made them nigh impossible, so you just kept feeding them quarters. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Would you like to know more?
So yeah. Congratulations. So anyway, that was Space Gun. That was Spooky Retro Night. It is... What time is it? Yeah, 2.42 in the morning. I'm going the fuck to sleep. But thank you all for joining me. Thank you for those who followed. For the few of you who are on YouTube watching this, slam the fuck out of that like button. And yeah, I'm not sure how many of those cabinets are still left, Rob. That's a good question. But, again... This has been Frozen Gaming. I've been Mighty Pinto. I'll most likely be back on Monday night with something else, though I won't be streaming for nearly, nearly as long as I did tonight. But, hopefully you guys will all join me again. I'll have something different. And, if that fails, I know Necro will be back at some point next week with more Guns of Boom. I don't know when he's streaming again. It could be tomorrow. I'm not sure. It depends on how our schedules line up. But anyway, thanks again. I'll see you all next time. Sleep tight.